motherfucking couches in a house to be able to be with me right now. Go sit on that couch right there and you can watch us. No, this is a good couch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So somebody posted, just gonna leave this here. And as you guys can see, it's Kim, Diddy, Chloe, and I believe Kylie J. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't give a fuck who, cause you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks cause you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me. Believe it or not, Kanye West and Diddy used to be pretty good friends. Except Kanye started getting crazier and crazier, and their relationship ended up beyond repair once the rapper went on a tirade, accusing industry fellows of gatekeeping information about his supposedly kidnapped daughter. So what exactly went down? Remember when Diddy's parties used to be legendary in Hollywood, but in a good way? It's been a hot minute since everyone associated with Diddy has been trying to keep their distance, but there was a time everyone who was someone showed up to his 50th birthday party. Including Kanye West and his then-wife, Kim Kardashian. Diddy posted a video of his big day, and it's also where we got that legendary photo of Jay-Z, Diddy, Kanye and Farrell in one frame. That want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me, cause part of the deal for you to be able to do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're gonna go pull my coat co car. So you can catch glimpses of the Kardashians and Kanye partying away throughout the video. And there was a time when Kanye was a very vocal supporter of Puffy. He even presented him with the BT Lifetime Achievement Award in 2022. He detailed how he had looked up to the mogul for a long time. It was a very touching speech, with the usually arrogant Kanye talking about how much he had looked up to the bad boy. He called Diddy his favorite artist, encompassing every aspect of the industry from the music to the contracts. He mentioned how he still went to Puffy for advice, even when he himself was a billionaire, and even said he inspired his wife choice, referring to Kim Kardashian. Apparently, he had a hand in setting them up. It was to the point that Kanye said that there was a time he was fine just being known as a knockoff of Puffy, and said that despite his hiatus, he would never have Puff wait if he needed him. Considering Kanye's personality, that was a pretty touching tribute. Kanye even signed up as one of Diddy's famed hitmen producers in 2015 and remains a part of them to date. So what went wrong? It started with Kanye's White Lives Matter shirt incident. After wearing a White Lives Matter shirt to Paris Fashion Week, Kanye West called the Black Lives Matter movement a scam in an Instagram post he's now deleted. The White Lives Matter shirt was part of Kanye's latest Yeezy show, which also featured models like Bob Marley's granddaughter, who was also seen wearing the slogan. According to the Anti-Defamation League, White Lives Matter has been attributed to white supremacists and is a racist response to BLM. A bunch of people online were quick to call the shirt insensitive and dangerous, and we even saw some people leave the fashion show, like Jaden Smith. Kanye West responded by doubling down and publicly attacking his Diddy tried to explain Kanye's actions at first on The Breakfast Club, with the host even telling him to stop making excuses for him. So that's that's what I was saying. And then I was going to put out these t-shirts today, um, Kanye and nothing. And then Kanye, my boy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kanye, my boy. Now, this, this is where he need the OG Kanye, talk. Kanye, my boy. White Lives Matter. Kanye, my boy, is is a super, super, super free thinker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times what he means is is like misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes just, you know. You got to stop making excuses for him, Paul. No, no, no. No, I'm not making ex ex excuses. I'm just saying that if he did it, like, that's the way he thinks. And so, you know, and I understand white lives do matter, but it's not that. That was our slogan. That wasn't our slogan to go share with, with, with nobody else. And so... But he seemingly got his thoughts together pretty soon and tried to tell Kanye that he was wrong. Even then, he put a good spin on it, saying he was a free thinker. What's up? Check this out, y'all. Um, I am not about to be addressing every last thing that's going on in the world on the internet. 
Um, but the thing I do have to address is this White Lives Matter t-shirt. Um, I've always been there and I will always support my brother Kanye as a free thinker. But the White Lives Matter t-shirt, I don't rock with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with it. And with the press and with fashion is doing, thinking it's a joke. But right now, all America has planned for us is poverty, incarceration. But Kanye didn't take too well to that and went on a tirade on X, refusing Diddy's request to talk to him in person. Fast forward to October 2022, and Kanye is on yet another rage, this time in a now-deleted interview on Drink Champs. And he pointed out some pretty interesting stuff. For one, he called out Diddy and a number of other rappers for not telling him where his daughter was when the Kardashians kidnapped him. That's right, kidnapped. Poison me, and by the way, y'all done already fucked with me so much, y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child, none of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he followed it with an even more mind-boggling revelation. That Sean Combe is in cahoots with the feds. Because you can't shoot nobody anyway, and the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. Co -car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck <laughs> up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right. As unlikely as it sounds, this has been confirmed by Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal. He talked about how Puffy used to exchange information for favors from law enforcement. <laughs> So I'm saying that to say this, confidential forms get paid good, but Puff was a millionaire. Him being a confidential form and him getting money like that, it was favors. He been getting favors and been paying law enforcement people for years to protect them, you understand? To protect him? He said that one call to his handler could make stuff go away and let him off scot-free for his crimes. If something goes wrong, those people got friends in certain places. Then, plus, he tells his handler, yo, can you make this go away for me? I'll give you this and that. In another interview on Art of the Dialogue, Deal revealed that Puffy had informed the FBI that Suja Knight was trying to start a music distribution company with his associates Irv Gotti, Jay Prince, and Eric B. He and Jay-Z teamed up and got everything cancelled. They money together and do that. And what I know of is that, and Jay-Z was a part of this, because I, I heard Shook probably spoke on this too, that Jay-Z and Puff had had somebody write something up to say that they was trying to uh, monopolize, or they, they was a, get a monopoly on the industry and start their own dis distribution company. And they told the higher ups and they, that's when all those companies start going down, start coming up with federal charges and all kinds of, you know, things that's happened to them. You've seen it with Irv Gotti them. You've seen it with uh, Rockefeller breaking up and all that shit like that. So what about the part where Kanye said the Kardashians kidnapped his daughter? Well, this particular incident happened in February 2021 at Chicago West's birthday party. Kanye was not invited to his daughter's fourth birthday and he lost it. He had previously called out Kim for allowing their eldest North on TikTok by writing, since this is my first divorce, I need to know what I should do about my daughter being put on TikTok against my will. After a lengthy argument with Kim, he accused her of kidnapping Chicago. What do you mean by main provider? America saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday by not providing the address. 
You put security on me inside of the house to play with my son, then accused me of stealing I had to take a drug test after Chicago's party, cause you accused me of being on drugs. He later thanked Travis Scott for giving him the address. So what's up with that? Some people think it could have been a ploy for attention by his estranged wife. After all, Kim's not exactly known for being private, and her whole brand is built on flaunting every single aspect of her life. She once staged a flower bombing incident, one that everyone probably remembers. Day where we split the Up, back up. So I'm doing the red carpet and all of a sudden I get this powder all over me and I'm so shocked. What's going on? Wow. She pulled powder all over me and I think I can like clean this off and be good. Let's go this way. Let's go. Where's the mark? Mario. 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 Now, I've definitely experienced my fair share of haters, but I don't want to ruin the night just because this anti-FERP organization tried to ruin our event with this flower bomb. People thought that was real for years until her former media strategist Shiraz Hassan revealed that it was just a publicity stunt. He recalled that he had told her, Okay, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be fine, you're going to be safe, but we're going to create a media moment. If we create media gold, guess what's going to happen? Everyone's going to be talking about your perfume, everyone's going to buy it. And then there was the fact that people thought she staged her Paris robbery incident. This was largely because of how long she had capitalized off of the story, milking it on every show possible. As I was about to fall asleep, I heard guys running up the stairs. They wanted my ring and my jewelry, so I didn't fight back. I just gave them everything, and they tied me up. They wrapped duct tape over my eyes and my mouth. It was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my entire life, just thinking that, you know, you're about to die. You're just kind of bracing yourself for the moment that they're going to shoot you and kill you. That 10 minutes really changed my whole life. He called me and my legs like went out. I remember I like fell to the floor. Kim was really, really shaken up. We just did all the work that she had to do. Concierge from downstairs, handcuffed, with a gun up to him. So they were speaking, yelling at me in French. And I just sat up and I, I, they kept on saying the ring, the ring. And I was just so startled, I was like, you know, what? Like, it didn't compute to me for a minute. Slid off my bed and picked up my phone, and I'm like, I don't know how to call 911 in a different country. And so I, like, called Pascal, and then the guy came and grabbed the phone for me, threw me on the bed. And I was like, this is it. And despite the fact that many were sympathetic after her traumatizing experience, skeptics pointed out that she has a track record of doing anything for fame. And some celebrities also called the entire incident a hoax. J. Cole called it a publicity stunt. In the aftermath of Kim's nightmare in Paris, there were skeptics who suspected the robbery was a hoax. People like Howard Stern said that I should go to jail if this is fate. Some people thought that she was flaunting it. You cannot display your wealth and then be surprised that some people want to share it with you so people have a reason to be disbelieving. But despite everything, whatever the reason the Kardashians wanted Kanye away from his children, why would Diddy not tell him where they were? Some people think it's because of Kim and Diddy's close relationship, because there's no other reason for his behavior. Even if Kanye tends to say some crazy stuff on a bad day, it doesn't mean he's a bad father. In fact, his children seem to prefer him over Kim. My daughter ripped up the motherfucking couches in a house to be able to be with me right now. Go sit on that couch right there and you can watch us. No, this is a good couch. <laughs> <laughs> North want to design a dress made out of bubble wrap in the morning and I become her assistant designer. And she be screaming at me, you didn't hold a plastic right. You never going to sell no clothes like this. This is a five-year-old talking about I'm never going to say you not no good designer. I'm like, damn, you. Kanye once said that he wouldn't let anything keep him from his children, especially because his dad didn't do the same for him. My solace comes from 
seeing my kids and getting a solid schedule. That's why I even got the house. You know, they flipped it in the, you know, the media like there was something wrong with me getting a house next to my kid. You see, when my mom took my me from Atlanta uh, to Chicago, my dad didn't come to the coldest and you know most dangerous city in the world to be next to me. He said I wanted to stay down in Atlanta you know, because of my career. Mm -hmm. It's nothing with my career, with this rap, with this media, with none of that that's going to keep me from my children. And that's what I want everybody to know. Don't play with me. Don't play with my children. And ain't no security going to get in between me and my children. And you ain't finna gaslight me. And you ain't going to run this narrative on me. What does this mean? It means there was no good reason for Diddy to not be on Kanye's side. Diddy's now in trouble after he was slapped with multiple civil lawsuits turned into a sex trafficking investigation. After federal authorities have raided two properties linked to him, one on each coast, Sean Combs appears to be part of an investigation into a sex trafficking operation. And of course, this comes as he faces multiple lawsuits that accuse him of assault and abuse, and he denies it. And Kim seems to be one of the first to turn her back on him. That's right. 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to... But at this point, it's too late because everyone knows it's not possible for the Kardashians to not know at least a part of what he was doing. I, at the end of the day, do I believe that Kim knew something? I do. I'm. That's just my opinion, bro. That's just my opinion. I kind of think Kim do, did know something because why would she unfollow him right before his house? Betty wishes he'd stayed on Kanye's good side now. But is Ye going to reveal something about his ex-wife and the disgraced hip-hop mogul? Let's wait and see. That's it for now. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.